Hello everyone, this is Micah hanging out here inside the Seeker Studio, and you know what's really cool is uh, we have our buddy Maya here, and she's also super awesome, but along with her, we also have what I would say is a new buddy of ours, because Maya is going to be interviewing this awesome person, and Maya, who are you interviewing today? Uh, Brayden LeMasters. Brayden LeMasters, welcome! How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Perfect. Awesome. Well, Maya, go ahead and take it away. Okay. So my first question for you is who or what inspired you to start acting? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I feel like what inspired me to start acting was, well, what's really funny when I was very young, um, I would always run around my house like a little like a little ham and always try to make people laugh and have a good time. And I would watch TV as a, as a little kid with my grandma. And uh, I would always just be fascinated by all the movies and the TV shows. And I remember when I was about four years old, I would tell my parents, like, I want to go to Hollywood because I'm from Ohio originally. Um, and I would tell them, I want to go to Hollywood. I want to go to Hollywood. And uh, one day they were like, you know what? Let's, let's do that. So, um, that happened just because of my love of movies and TV. And um, in terms of inspiring me to start acting, um, I don't really know. I mean, I love Leonardo DiCaprio and people like that, but um, that was kind of what started the, the, the in influence or inspiration was just TV and movies in general, I would say. Oh, cool. Um, so you, um, played Kellen in um, Arnold Stein's Monsterville, Cabinet of Souls, and that is one of my favorite movies. I watch it um, pretty much all the time. Um, and like every um, Halloween. Um, so uh, could you relate to Kellen in any way? Um, you know what? I think I could just cause he's a little, uh, he was a little, he's a little goofy, right? And a little, uh, but he's confident in a way. So I guess that's kind of like me in a sense. Um, so I, I can relate to Kellen. Yeah. A little bit. Cool. Um, do you have any like, um, fun stories or memories from filming? Ooh, um, let me see here. I remember, well, the cast was very like close knit. Like we hung out all the time, like outside of filming. And um, we would, there's a place called the Extension Bridge in Canada where we shot the movie. So we shot it in Canada. And uh, it's this beautiful, beautiful um, landscape of like trees and all these like uh, bridges that are like wooden bridges that um, connect to all the trees. And we just spent a day walking around there, which was a beautiful time. And we, me and, um, a lot of the cast would go like bike riding around this uh, park. I forget what the park was called, but we'd bike ride. I had my first sushi, actually. There's a fun fact for you. And during Monsterville, I, I tried sushi for the first time and it was fantastic. So that was a good little thing. But um, gosh, it's it was such a that was a while ago as well, wasn't it? So it's hard to remember exactly all the things that happened. But that was a great time. That was a really great time. Oh, cool. Um so, uh, you're in the band uh, Wallows, and mm -hmm. um, like, what inspired you to um, all come together, and what? How did you come up with the name? Yeah. So, um, well, when me and and Dylan met each other, we were like we were like ten years old, um, and we both came out to act here. Obviously, he's from Indiana. I'm from Ohio, and we met kind of in that area first and within a year of our friendship we discovered we love music like we love the beatles my dad's a huge beatles fan and i'm a huge beatles fan and we loved like led zeppelin and all these classic rock bands um so we bonded over that and we started writing music literally when we were like 12 years old we wrote our first song together and then we met Cole Preston, who plays drums in Wallows and does a bunch of other stuff, too. And uh, we formed the band. We were about 14. And we went through about two different name changes. And then when 2017 rolled around, I suggested the name Wallows because it's um, in a video game called Tony Hawk's Underground. 
and it's a level in Hawaii. And I was like, I love that name. And Hawaii seems nice. I've never been, but I was like, let's go, let's call it Wallows. And uh, yeah, now we're just doing our thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Um, so uh, uh, who um, or like what inspired um, you to get into music? Um, I would say the biggest thing was my, my dad. So my dad's played in bands his whole life. And since I was a baby, I would be at my dad's concerts. Like he would play at coffee shops or he would play in bands in Ohio. And uh, I basically just grew up with music in my ears. Um, and then when I was about 10 or, 10 or 11 or 12, that, that's when my dad played me Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band. I don't know if you know that album by the Beatles. Um, and if you don't, you should check it out. It's really great. Um, so he played me Sgt. Pepper. And I, I just remember it was like a moment for me where everything kind of clicked. I was like, whoa, this is what music could be. Just for my little 12-year-old like um, music palette that I've listened to, I was like, whoa, this is incredible stuff. And then from that point on, I just played guitar in my room for about eight hours a day, I think, or, or more. I just constantly played guitar and recorded my own music. And um, that was kind of what started that. I would say my dad and the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so uh, you've um, been in so many um, like movies and you've guest starred in so many shows. Um, including another R.L. Stein movie, The Haunting Hour, and then the thriller series Tagged. Um, do you have a, have you had a favorite um, project that you've been a part of? Um, or a character that you've played? Um, I would say that, I feel like it, it would be it would be tagged actually, mainly because I did love playing that character, uh, especially the, the second season I was in. Because the first season, he wasn't the nicest guy, but he got became nicer in the next one. Um, and I honestly would say that one because just the cast of people on the show and the like, kind of bonding we, we made, it was really special to me. And we shot it in New Mexico and it was just a cast like no other. And we, um, we just basically hung out constantly. And I feel like I kind of, um, grew up a lot on, on that set. Um, and that just holds a special place in my heart. I, I love tagged. I would say that is my, one of my favorites. There's many favorites of course, but that was probably my number one, mainly just because of the people I was working with. I feel like. Oh, cool. Um, so, um, uh, is there a certain line from um, a song that's always stuck with you or inspires you? Mm, from any song? Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, there's many. Um, let me see here. I know there's a trillion. Um, um, Taking up so much time, I love it. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. I mean, I'm thinking of so many great lyrics, and um, what's something I've been listening to recently? Um, how about "That's What Makes You Beautiful"? <laughs> One Direction. <laughs> Let it's first that popped in my head. <laughs> let's go let's go harry yeah um so um what is your biggest pet peeve you know what my biggest pet peeve when i was younger i've kind of grown out of it a little bit but i used to not like it when i heard people chewing like when i could hear people oh. eating like it used to, it used to bother me in a really weird way. I would just be like, "Whoa!" Like, why do I hear sounds of like you know? And I was, I, it was a very strange pet peeve. Uh, but then I luckily was like, "That's that's that's how it goes." Like <laughs> sounds so, sounds happen. Um, so that doesn't bother me that much anymore. Uh, pet peeve. I just I like when I don't I, I like when people are nice. So if people aren't like nice, 
that's a big pet peeve of mine. It's like, just be, just have a good time. Be nice to people. Yeah. That's, that's probably a big one for me. Yeah. Um, and I, the thing about people, um, chewing that is a big pet peeve of mine so you have that as well maya yeah Let, hey that's good to know yeah. <laughs> i think so it's called a misophonia one. i think is what it's called yeah i've looked it up before yes that's right that's yeah. right oh my gosh Classic. yeah my mom i didn't know what it was and my mom looked it up because we were both like why is why are these sounds just like bothering me all of a sudden are there other ones too? Or is it just chewing? Do you yeah, have it's there? like chewing and like people swallowing. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know why that just all of a sudden started bugging me so much. <laughs> I know it's weird. <laughs> yeah. I love that. It's so strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, do no, you, ever get anxiety before auditions or before performing and what do you do to calm those nerves i do um i think there are two different anxieties for me before an audition or before a show um so before an audition i'm, I'm usually worried i'm gonna mess up a line or something and i get really like in my head about that um and sometimes it's the feeling of like going into the room and like there's like this weird moment where you, you plan out in your head like what's going to happen you're like you're sitting in the audition room and you're like okay i'm going to walk in there and then they're going to say hey and then you're going to slate your name you're going to be like hey, i'm brain the masters whatever and then and then you're going to do your part so i think the thing that calm my nerves in an audition is don't overthink that like don't think about what's going to happen think about just be in the moment so basically I'll just be in the waiting room thinking about something completely different and not the audition. I'll just be kind of in my own world and, you know, try not to overthink it. And then before a show, um, that that's mainly like excitement jitters. I'm usually not nervous necessarily. I'm more just excited. Uh, cause you know, you get to go out with your friends and kind of have a good time and I kind of just shake it off. You know, I, I get very like, frantic or something in a fun way i'm just like ah like let's go like let's have a good time so they're very two different they're two different kind of nerves but um i'd say the best thing for both is just to not overthink it just kind of like go out there and just let your natural thing happen whatever's meant to happen is going to happen so that's kind of how i look at it um yeah so uh what tv show character would be the most fun to hang out with for the weekend oh wow that's really good um uh i would love to hang out with um it'd be fun to hang out with like patrick star <laughs> uh it'd be fun to hang out with maybe like like one of the friends, like maybe Ross or Chandler, or maybe yeah. uh, Jennifer Aniston or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd be pretty, like Rachel, that'd be tight. And um, it would be fun. That, I'm trying to think here. Maybe like a good old fashioned, like Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Just kind of go, go out with your pal and solve some mysteries. That sounds pretty fun. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Um so um are there any shows that you're currently binge watching um let's see here yes i was watch i'm i'm watching um what did i just watch recently i just watched um the before trilogy which is movies actually so it's like before sunrise before sunset and before midnight those are really amazing movies I don't know if you've heard of those, but they're amazing. And um, I was watching The Bachelorette. I think there's an episode on tonight. So I'm kind of, I'm getting, let's see what's going on with that. <laughs> and um, what else have I, was I watching recently? Um, I've been watching, I've been trying to watch, a lot. I, I feel like I've, I've been reading too, which is random. So I'm kind of, I'm trying to think what I've been doing entertainment wise. Um, what TV show have I watched? 
uh, those are kind of the main ones at the moment, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> if, do you recommend any? Um, oh, you know, um, there's a show on Netflix called Dash and Lily, which is really cute. Um, okay. Right now, we're um, watching um, the new Netflix series, Tiny Pretty Things. Mm. which actually we don't like it but it's like we can't look away so we we just we just keep watching it but i mean i don't know if you'd like it but we don't really like it so <laughs> oh okay i did watch queen's gambit actually that's something i watched oh cool yeah my mom watched that so <laughs> it made me start playing chess which is hilarious i downloaded chess app I, i'm learn and me and cole play chess together now it's really it's really funny i, I love it it's a great game <laughs> <laughs> um yes yeah, so you had mentioned that you um also been reading are there um like what's your favorite book um i love when i was younger I, my favorite books of all time um were kind of like the fantasy genre ish like uh like the lemony snicket books um and i what kind of books do i love i loved um oh my gosh uh just kind of so i mean i it's funny i didn't read for such a long time and now i'm starting again so i'm trying to think of like the both eras like what are my favorite books um what did i read recently um I read some George Orwell book recently. That was amazing. I got this poetry book called Inward. It's a book of poems, which is beautiful. I've been loving poetry, like T.S. Eliot, people like that. Um, and there's also this amazing book. Uh, I mean, the Harry Potter book. I, I started reading the first Harry Potter, which I've never, I've never seen or read Harry Potter in my life. Is that crazy? I've only seen the first three movies. So I need I've to like. I've only seen the first two, and I've never read any of the books. So. Oh, there we go. So okay, so <laughs> we get each other on that on that front. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've been kind of doing like more poetry reading. I would say, recently. Oh, cool. Yeah, um, my sister has a couple, um, like poetry books that she's mm -hmm. been reading, and <laughs> I've been reading words on bathroom walls, which is really good. Is that a book or you've been uh, going to the bathrooms and reading the, the walls? I'm just kidding. Uh, is that a book? <laughs> yeah, it actually it was made into a movie and I had never heard of the book until we watched the movie. And I loved the movie so much. That I was like, I need to buy this book. So. All right. I'll have, have to check that out. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a, honestly, I like the movie more than the book. Okay. But the book is still good. So I recommend the movie. All right. I'll check out the movie. 100, 100p. <laughs> um, so if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, what song would it be? I think Dancing Queen by ABBA. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Just that piano lick and you're walking through the door. And... <laughs> You're the dancing queen. I'd say dancing queen. Or maybe some uh, maybe some uh, Ariana. I, I see Ariana in the background. Is that Ariana, right? Yeah. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Uh, maybe some, uh, some one of her songs playing. I don't know which one that would be, though. But yeah, dancing queen. I'll say that. Cool. Yeah, actually, when we first got that, our mom had the best time scaring my sister and I. So she just put her random places. Um, oh, yeah, like she once put it, she like put it behind like the shower curtain. So we'd open that and then she'd just be standing there. And then she like put it be just behind me once. So I turned around and she was there. And oh my gosh. Yeah, and she actually, she actually put it in my sister's bed once. So she opened. So yeah, she um, she had the best time scaring us. She loves doing that. <laughs> That's it. Must be equally scary as it is like a pleasant surprise just to see Ariana Grande. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, she has a. She always jokes that she loves traumatizing us because she loves scaring us all the time. So <laughs> that's really funny. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Yeah, my sister likes horror movies, so she scares her more than she scares me because I uh, can't watch horror movies. They, I either won't sleep or like I'll wake up screaming. Cause give I feel me that. Nightmares. I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So my last question for you is, who do you consider to be a real life superhero and why? Um, I would say, I would say my mom or my dad, um, just because they are very supportive and amazing people and have, you know, um, you know, I've been blessed to have them be my parents and they've done a great job raising me. So I, I would say them, especially moving across the country for me to pursue my acting and music dreams. So I, I'd say with them, they are my real life superheroes for sure. Cool. Yeah, my um, mom and my sister are um, my superheroes and we're just we're all so close that we were joking that we've been quarantined together for however many months it's been and we're not sick of each other yet. So <laughs> there you go. That's great. <laughs> yeah, we like that. That's good. <laughs> That's the sign right there. And you have yeah. Ariana too. You have the you have the four. You know, you got Ariana yeah. there. Yeah, and actually five because we have our dog too. So. Oh, what's your dog's name? Boone. Boone. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Let's go. Yeah. yeah he. Yeah. He's very. He's very strange, but. <laughs> Is it small dog or big dog? Um, big dog. Nice. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Boom. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for calling in. I had so much fun talking to you. I had such a, this was amazing, Maya. Thank you for having me. And thank you for everyone watching. But Maya, you're amazing. This is great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you very I, much, Braden. I really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, I've been Dude, so amazing. excited for this. So I, yeah, I just had the best time talking to you. I, likewise. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thanks, Braden. We'll talk to you later. Hey, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Of course. Bye. Bye.